Hello friends, today we are going to learn how to create amazing light in any photo or how to give amazing light effect in any photo. So let's begin our tutorial. This one is very interesting tutorial. So just follow the step and you can learn everything. So just this one is our model and I am already cut this one by using pen tool. So you can also cut your model by using pen tool. You can see that this layer is totally blank and the model is stand here and the background is here I use fill and content aware to fulfill this area and I just cut out the model you can see that so this one is our model and we are going to give effect in this chain and hand and other areas so start so first we are going to select our model and we are going to duplicate this one by using uh, right click and just duplicate layer then press ok so you can see that the layer is already duplicated and the another work is we are going to take a layer simple layer this one is and just right click and create clipping mask and just in that portion we just use blend mode this one is the blend mode options you can see that you can get so many blending options but this time i am using linear dodge this one is perfect for my artwork so i am going with uh, linear dodge so just click on linear dodge then just go to adjustment layer and just click on solid color so you can choose whatever you give the light i think i give little bit red light or i think this orange is perfect for me so this one is perfect for my artwork and that just click on ok so this one is okay another work is we just again take an adjustment layer and this time we select curves and select clipping mask and increase the light i think this one is look too odd so we just delete the curve layer and right click on this one go to blending option and hold alt key then just adjust it i think this one is perfect then press ok just inverse the layer now just pr press ctrl i to invert the layer so you can see that the masking layer is became black and and use foreground color white and select brush tool and just opacity 100% is perfect then the another work is we are going to just apply masking on this chain so just simply apply our second work we just hide this one and we just reopen this one here we go take little bit time to do this work because this one is too much patience for work so simply take time to complete your task So we can see that the chain image is already glow and uh, another work is we are going to make little bit blower our background and little bit darker our background. So first duplicate this one just duplicate this layer and go to <coughs> filter select blower and gases blower is perfect for me. So this one is too high I just keep like this this one is perfect for my work so i'm just click ok and go to and our second work is we are going to make little bit darker our background so select curves clipping mask and so it is became little bit darker so you can see it's became pretty cool and our next work we again take curved layer 
sorry i think this one this area is perfect for this yeah so this one is already clipping marks so just adjust the color of your image okay so this one is adjusted and go to again click on adjustment layer levels uh, this one is already in clipping mask so just increase the little bit brighter portion okay so this one is completed and just inverse this one by pressing ctrl i and we are going to make foreground color white select brush and simply apply this do the same thing with this one okay so we can get our chain almost glow and our second work is we are going to add some pictures to provide it realistic look so first we are going to find our picture so just i'm going to stop my video so you can see that our work is little bit done not so much done so we are going to add some spark fire spark so this one is our fire spark spark image and simply select this one i take only some spark so i just cut out this portion you can use any tool for cut this area because this one is not so important here yeah. uh, the sparks are too important so i'm just take the sparks so just take drag and drop this one sorry i think i made mistake so now the lock uh, okay then press okay then resize your image by holding any corner of this image so this one is placed and just go to place this layer in upper portion of your artwork and remove or release clipping mask and go to again blending mode and this time i am going with screening because screaming it is the dark portions and it's provide amazing transparent look go to adjustment edit then select warp and i'm going to take warp tool and just add these areas and again make duplicate this one and do the same thing in that area also and hide this one this one is not look too cool so i just remove these lines and again do the same thing just duplicate this one so you can see that the light side became more glower and do the same thing with this one also just duplicate this one okay and i think i'm also made little bit more darker okay this one is perfect so this one is done almost done and you can also add little bit fire so this is our fire image and we just cut out by using laser tool you can use also another tool so i just take this one and do the same thing okay
ब्लेंडिंग मोड सेलेक्ट स्क्रीनिंग सो ट्रांसफॉर्म सेलेक्ट वार्प do the same thing with another one but this time i am going to take mask layer to remove the unwanted areas so just i remove this area so you can see that i just remove this lines and also make duplicate this one and simply place the fire image in that area so you can see that it's look pretty awesome and our next work we just make little bit glow our model so this is our model and we just apply some extra light so you can see that the work is almost done and our next work is we are going to make little bit more brighter our lighter areas so just select the level area uh, level layer sorry so just click on brush and this time we are going to zoom our image by pressing control plus and this will make you more brighter and more glow this one is amazing tool to provide glow effect of your artwork so i think i come i almost completed my work this area is little bit brighter okay so this one is done and the work is almost completed the fire e fire effect and the glow effect is almost done it's look pretty good and did i miss anything no i think not and so this one is completed and the other work is we are going to add extra sparks so where is our spark image this one is our spark image so just simply add this one and select this portions I think this one is look pretty good. Then press okay and just select mask layer and remove this un unwanted spark areas. okay
so this one is done and our work is almost done and our we are going to with our final touch up so just take a new layer and go to blending mode select linear dodge go to adjustment layer and select solid color I think this one is perfect no, okay and go to blending option hold alt key okay yeah so this one is perfectly done and just click on mask layer and press ctrl i then go to brush tool omega opacity 12 percent and color black And simply apply this so I think the work is done and our last we just make little bit more adjustment in camera or filter so just we are going to mask the whole work in one layer so just hold shift ctrl alt plus e then right click and this one convert to a smart object and go to filter select camera raw filter and here we go so we just go with this highlight area so first we are going to increase the highlighted area so it's provide amazing lights and go to light so you can see that this one is better in darks we just decrease this time shadow you can remove or I think this one is minus eight percent is perfect increase little bit sharper go to SSL adjustment so this one is pretty good so the situation saturation I just increase the saturation of this yellow color and orange color and here you can also make changes on your work I think this one is pretty good and again go to your adjustment and this time I am just taking white area little bit glower and highlight area so this one is completed and increase the saturation a little bit then press OK so you can see that the glow effect is became more visible so the work is done hope you like this tutorial and you can try it with your other image so see you soon with new tutorial okay goodbye